so uh, let us see uh, some numerical based on AC fundamental here the first example a sinusoidal alternating voltage is having the form factor 1.15 peak factor of 1.57 if the maximum value of the voltage is 440 volt uh, calculate the average and rms value of the voltage mention the relationship of the factor vm is equal to 400 volt kp that is form factor uh, peak factor is given as 1.57 and form factor is ff is given as 1.15 peak value is equal to maximum value upon rms value that is kp is equal to vm upon v vm is given as 400 kp is 1.57 so v can be calculated v is equal to 400 divided by 1.57 that is 254.78 volts form factor is equal to rms value upon average value so form factor is equal to v upon v average so v average is equal to v upon form factor that is 254.78 v rms value is 254.78 divided by 1.15 it gives you 221.55 volts is the average value if you want to calculate the relationship between these two peak value into form factor peak factor into form factor sorry it should not be value it should be factor keep in mind this is a peak factor it is not a peak value peak factor into form factor is equal to maximum into rms into rms by average so rms rms will be cancelled peak factor into form factor is equal to maximum value upon average value let us see the second example a sinusoidal uh, wave of 50 hertz it has a maximum voltage of 300 volt at what time from the positive zero crossing will be will the instantaneous voltage be equal to minus 250 volt so in the ac wave form the maximum value is the 300 volt and at what instant of the time the voltage will become minus 250 volt okay minus 250 volt so how to calculate this term mm, so vm is equal to 300 volt Omega is equal to 2 pi, that is 2 pi into 50, that is 3.1416 radian per second. The instantaneous voltage is given by V is equal to Vm sin omega t plus or minus phi. But here in this case, the pi is equal to 0. As it is not mentioned, we will take the pi is equal to 0. So voltage V is equal to 300 sin 314.16 into T. So instantaneous voltage, how much instantaneous voltage is required? Minus 250 volt. So minus 250 is equal to 300 sine of 314.16. So sine of 314.16 T uh, is equal to minus 250 by 300, taking the sine inverse of both sides. So it will 314.16 T is equal to sine inverse of minus 250 by 300. So for this type of problem, we have to calculate convert your, your calculator into radian mode because uh, this time t is is uh, time is t is required in the second. So we cannot take this sine inverse into degree. So it should be the radiant value of this minus 250 by 300. Sine inverse of minus 250 by 300. If it is in degree mode, convert that into radian mode or put your calculator in radian mode. So 3.1416 t is equal to sine inverse of minus 250 by 300 sine inverse of minus 250 by 300 gives you minus 0.9851 radian so time t is equal to uh, it gives you minus 3.13135 uh, into 10 raised to minus 3 second that is minus 3.135 millisecond okay but this value this this minus 3.135 indicates the time after before this zero okay before this reference this is indicating the time on this side not on this side so but we want to calculate the time after positive zero so one cycle is of 50 hertz so one cycle is of 20 milliseconds so half cycle is of 10 milliseconds so 50 hertz frequency one cycle is 20 millisecond half cycle is 10 millisecond so after this positive half cycle it will take time t reach to the minus 250 second that is 10 millisecond plus 3.135 millisecond that is the total time reaches uh, to, to the minus 250 after positive zero crossing hence it is equal to 10 plus 3.135 that is 13.31 uh, 135 millisecond is the time uh, to reach the minus 250 hold okay take, let's take a next problem a sinusoidal varying alternating quantity has a max rms value of the 10 ampere and a positive and a periodic time is uh, 20 millisecond if the waveform is uh, of this current enters to the positive half cycle at t is equal to 0 find the instantaneous value of the current at the quarter cycle 
uh, at the quarter cycle t1 is equal to 6 milliseconds and t4 is equal to uh, 14 milliseconds so what is given uh, given data i is equal to 10 ampere okay so first in the case uh, i is equal to given as 10 ampere so i m is equal to what rms value into uh, root 2 rms value into root 2 that is i m is equal to 10 into root 2 ampere and t is equal to 20 millisecond total t is equal to 20 millisecond hence f is equal to 1 upon t 1 upon 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 it will give you 50 hertz so omega is equal to how much omega is equal to 2 pi f that is 2 pi into 50 okay so 2 pi into 50 it is 314.16 radian per second the instantaneous current is given by im is equal to sine omega t plus or minus phi phi is equal to 0 because it is here given this current enters to the positive half cycle at t is equal to 0 means positive waveform starts at t is equal to 0 hence phi is equal to 0 okay so i is equal to i m sine omega t so the as the waveform this current enters to the positive half cycle uh, at t is equal to 0 i is equal to i m sin omega t plus or minus phi so i is equal to 10 into root 2 sin 314.16 t okay at t1 is equal to 6 milliseconds so at the 6 millisecond 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds so i1 is equal to 10 root 2 sin of omega t 0.16 t1 so here i have to substitute this t1 is equal to 6 millisecond if i substitute this t1 is equal to 6 millisecond second it gives me 13.44 ampere for such calculations also you have your calculator should be uh, in radiant mode calculator should be in radiant mode sorry it should not be 315 it should be 314 okay so by mistakes it is types as 315 it should be 314.16 314.16 at t2 is equal to 14 millisecond so again it is uh, 10 root 2 t2 is equal to 14 millisecond 14 to 10 raised to minus 3 minus 13.51 ampere minus 13.51 ampere is the time uh, taken to the uh, time taken uh, it is the value of the current at i2 at 14 millisecond okay one part is remaining you have to calculate that part uh, please solve for quarter cycle quarter cycle means one four cycle one cycle is of 20 millisecond means quarter cycle means five millisecond you have to get i calculate instantaneous value at the five millisecond that is you have to substitute mt is equal to five millisecond second <clears throat> an alternating voltage is represented by v is equal to sine omega sine uh, 2 pi t minus pi by 6 find out the instantaneous value or value at t is equal to 0 the t at which the first uh, reaches to the 0 after t is equal to 0 time at which the first reach to the negative maximum also draw the waveform and above, uh, showing the above three points okay so v is equal to given as 100 sine uh, 2 pi 50 t minus pi by 6 so instantaneous value at t is equal to 0 so for t is equal to 0 i have to substitute this t is equal to 0 millisecond okay so t is if i substitute t is equal to 0 millisecond it gives me minus 50 hold okay it gives me what minus 50 hold t at which it first reaches to the 0 after t is equal to 0 okay so uh, instantaneous value must be 0 so how, at what time it is reaching to the 0 i have to substitute t is equal to 0 100 sin uh, 2 pi 50 t into minus pi by 6 so taking the sign inverse of uh, transferring 100 to this side so 0 by 100 taking the sine inverse of both side 2 pi 50 t minus pi by 6 is the sine inverse of 0 by 100 so sine inverse of 0 by 100 is 0 so pi by 6 is transferred on this side so it becomes plus pi by 6 so pi pi on both side will be cancelled or so pi by 6 divided by 2 pi by 50 pi pi will get cancelled uh, so it is 1 upon 2 into 6 into 50 so it gives time is equal to 1.167 into 10 raised to minus 3 second that is 1.667 millisecond time at which it reaches to the max negative maximum value so at uh, so negative maximum value means minus 100 so minus 100 is equal to 100 sine omega t uh, 2 pi 50 t minus pi by 6 so sine 2 pi 50 t minus pi by 6 sine inverse of minus 100 by 100 so minus 100 by 100 is having minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is nothing but 3 pi by 2 okay minus pi by 2 that is minus 90 is equal to uh, 270 that is minus pi by 2 i can treat as a 3 pi by 2 transferring this plus 
pi by 6 2 on this side it will give you the pi by why i am taking this minus pi by 2 as 3 pi by 2 because i have to calculate the time after the zero crossing not before the zero Min on on minus side i need not want to calculate the time i want to calculate the time at which reaches to the negative maximum so 3 pi by 2 plus pi by 6 so it will give me 5 pi by 3 so 5 pi by 3 divided by 2 pi 50 is giving me 16.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 raised to second that is 10 16.67 second okay time to reach the negative maximum value is one uh, uh, time to reach the negative maximum value is uh, sorry uh, by mistakenly this is type this should not be here the time to t is equal to what 16.67 seconds sorry this this uh, this should not be considered time t is equal to 16.67 second waveform uh, for above three points so if i indicate the waveform it is 100 sin t it reaches to the zero after 1.16 millisecond negative maximum point is occurs at 16.67 why i am showing this is delay because the wave voltage waveform is delayed by pi by 6 degree okay thank you we'll see the next example in the next